I took advantage of being at the seaside to lay in a store of sucking stones. They were pebbles, but I call them stones. I call them stones. Yes. Yes. On this occasion, I laid in a considerable store. I distributed them equally between my four pockets. I distributed them equally between my four pockets and sucked them turn and turn about. I sucked them turn and turn about. This raised a problem, which I first solved in the following way. I had, say, 16 stones, four in each of my four pockets, these being the two pockets of my trousers and the two pockets of my greatcoat. I had, say, 16 stones, four in each of my four pockets, taking a stone from the right pocket of my... Taking a stone from the right pocket of my greatcoat and putting it in my mouth, I replaced it in the right pocket of my greatcoat by a stone from the right pocket of my trousers, which I replaced by a stone from the left pocket of my trousers, which I replaced by a stone from the left pocket of my greatcoat, which I replaced by the stone which was in my mouth. I replaced by a stone from the left pocket which I replaced by the stone which was in my mouth. As soon as I finished sucking it. As soon as I had finished sucking it. Thus there were still four stones in each of my four pockets. But not quite the same stones. But not quite the same stones. And when the desire to suck... When the desire to suck took hold of me again, I drew again on the right pocket of my greatcoat, certain of not taking the same stone as the last time. And while I sucked it, I rearranged the other stones in the way I've just described. And so on. I rearranged the other stones in the way I have just described. Right. And so on. And so on. But this solution did not satisfy me fully. For it did not escape me that by an extraordinary hazard, the four stones circulating thus might always be the same four. In which case, far from sucking the sixteen stones turn and turn about, I was really only sucking four, always the same turn and turn about. But I shuffled them well in my pockets before I began to suck, and again while I sucked before transferring them, in the hope of obtaining a more general circulation of the stones from pocket to pocket. But I shuffled them well in my pockets before I began to suck, and again while I sucked before transferring them, in the hope of obtaining a more general circulation of the stones from pocket to pocket. But I shuffled them well in my pockets before I began to suck. But this was only a makeshift. This was only a makeshift that could not long content a man like me. So I began to look for something else. I might do better to transfer the stones four by four, four by four, four by four instead of one by one. One by one. That is to say, during the sucking, to take the three stones remaining in the right pocket of my great coat and replace them by the four in the right pocket of my trousers, and these by the four in the left pocket of my trousers, and these and these by the four in the left pocket of my great coat, and finally these by the three from the right pocket of my great coat. And finally these by the three from the right pocket of my great coat. Plus the one. Plus the one. Plus the one. As soon as I'd finished sucking it, which was in my mouth. Which was in my mouth. Yes. 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 It seemed to me at first that by so doing I would arrive at a better result. But on further reflection, I had to change my mind and confess that the circulation of the stones four by four came to exactly the same thing as their circulation one by their one. Circulation one by one. For if I was certain of finding each time in the right pocket of my greatcoat four stones totally different from their immediate predecessors, the possibility nevertheless remained of my always chancing on the same stone within each group of four. And consequently of my, and consequently of my sucking, not the sixteen turn and turn about as I wished, but in fact four only. Four only, always the same. Always the same. Turn and turn about. So I had to seek elsewhere than in the mode of circulation. For no matter how I caused the stones to circulate, I always ran the same risk. It was obvious. It was obvious. Increased. Obvious that by increasing the number of my pockets, I was bound to increase my chances of enjoying my stones in the way I planned. That is to say, one after the other, until the number was exhausted. Had I had eight pockets, for example, instead of the four I did have... Eight pockets, for example, instead of the four I did have... Then even the, then, most, then even the most diabolical hazard could not have prevented me from sucking at least eight of my sixteen stones, turn and turn about. The truth is... The truth is, I should have needed sixteen pockets in order to be quite easy in my mind. The truth is... I should have needed sixteen pockets in order to be quite easy in my mind. And for a long time I could see no other conclusion than this, that short of having sixteen pockets, each with its stone, I could never reach the goal I had set myself, short of an extraordinary hazard. And if at a pinch I could double the number of my pockets, were it only by dividing each pocket in two with the help of a few safety pins, let us say... Let us say. To quadruple them seems... To quadruple them... To quadruple them seems to be more than I could manage. 
and I did not feel inclined to take all that trouble for a half measure. For I was beginning to lose all sense of measure after all this wrestling and wrangling, and to say, all, all or nothing. And if I was tempted for an instant to establish a more equitable proportion between my stones and my pockets, by reducing the former to the number of the latter, it was only for an instant, for it would have been an admission of defeat. It would have been an admission of defeat. And sitting on the shore, before the sea, before the, sea. the sixteen stones spread out before my eyes, I gazed at them in anger and perplexity. One day, suddenly, One day, suddenly it dawned on me, dimly, dimly, that I might perhaps achieve my purpose without increasing the number of my pockets, increasing the number of my pockets or reducing the number of my stones, but simply by sacrificing the principle of trim. trim. The meaning of this illumination, which suddenly began to sing within me like a verse of Isaiah or of Jeremiah, I did not penetrate at once. And notably, the word trim, trim, which I had never met with in this sense, long remained obscure. Trim, which I had never met with in this sense, long remained obscure. Finally, Finally I, I seemed to grasp that this word trim, trim could not here mean anything else. Anything better than the distribution of the sixteen stones in four groups of four. Sixteen stones in four groups of four. One group in each pocket. And that it was my refusal to consider any distribution other than this that had vitiated my calculations until then and rendered the problem literally insoluble. And, and it was on the basis of this interpretation, whether, whether right or wrong, that I finally reached a solution. Inelegant, assuredly, but sound, sound, sound. but sound, sound. Now, I am willing to believe, indeed I firmly believe, that other solutions to this problem might have been found, and indeed may still be found, no less sound. And indeed may still be found, no less sound, no less sound but, but much more sound. elegant than the one I shall now describe, if I can. Good. Now I can begin to suck. Watch me closely. Watch me closely. I take a stone from the right pocket of my greatcoat, suck it, stop sucking it, put it in the left pocket of my greatcoat, the one empty of stones. I take a second stone from the right pocket of my greatcoat, suck it, put it in the left pocket of my greatcoat, and so on. And so on, until the right pocket of my greatcoat is empty, apart from its usual and casual contents, and the six stones I have just sucked, one after the other, are all in the left pocket of my greatcoat. Pausing then, pausing, pausing then, and concentrating so as not to make a balls of it, and concentrating so as not to make a balls of it, I transfer to the right pocket of my greatcoat, in which there are no stones left, the five stones in the right pocket of my trousers, which are replaced by the five stones in the left pocket of my trousers, which are replaced by the six stones in the left pocket of my greatcoat. At this stage, then, at this stage, then the left pocket of my greatcoat is again empty of stones. Empty of stones. Where well, the right pocket of my greatcoat is again supplied. And in the right way. And in the right way. That is to say, with other stones than those I have just sucked. These other stones I then begin to suck, one after, after the, the other. other and to transfer as I go along to the left pocket of my greatcoat, being absolutely certain... As far as one can be in an affair of this kind... As far as one can be in an affair of this kind... That I am not sucking the same stones as a moment before, but others. And when the right pocket of my greatcoat is again empty of stones, and the five I have just sucked are all, without exception, in the left pocket of my greatcoat, then, then I proceed to the same redistribution as a moment before, or a similar redistribution. That is to say, I transfer to the right pocket of my greatcoat. That is to say, I transfer to the right pocket of my greatcoat, now again available, the five stones in the right pocket of my trousers, which are replaced by the six stones in the left pocket of my trousers, which are replaced by the five stones in the left pocket of my greatcoat. And there I am, ready to begin again. Do I have to go on?